we use millions of tons of pesticides and fertilizers that we go, we apply to crops. Only 10% of what we apply goes to inside the plant. The other 90% goes to the soil and gets to the rivers. In Nanotica, we develop a new way to apply these products using nanotechnology. If you analyze in the market what is right now, we have three types of technologies. The macro technology is what you see right there. There are uh, spots of many quantity of pesticides in the surface of tomatoes. You have micro technology that reduce the quantity that you need to do the same effects. But we have nanotechnology. It's significantly lower. So the residual pesticides you get in these tomatoes are thousand times lower. If you analyze the change in the, agro in the agro industry, you have the agrochemical companies, you have the distributors, you have the farmers, you have the crops. There are several reasons why the nanotechnology is not used in the market. You have the high costs. Only huge companies they develop high value products, premium products, the only golf curve can afford. Farmers cannot afford these products. And the other reason is time. When you develop a product, it may, maybe it takes one year and you're in storage between this, the day it's manufactured and the day it's going to be used. And time with nano is very difficult because you have small particles in the beginning, these particles kept together and create bigger particles that lose the nano size, that lose the, the high efficiency. So we have a team, but Tias has a huge background in business. He was chosen a uh, force under 30, and I have more than 13 years experience working in research and development using nanotechnology in pharmaceutical companies to fight cancer. So we use the same technology they use in medicine, and we use it to increase with companies in Argentina. We already uh, get 50% increase of the efficiency in the fungicide. We get 70% decreasency in the herbicide. And we had one million times in the laboratory the increase of the fertilizer. So we, uh, today we've reached up at $133,000. We have angel investors looking for investment in the next round. We have government grants in Argentina. And we're in talk with Grid Exponential in Buenos Aires. So what we want to do is to take the technology as closer to the farmer as possible, because they're going to get the high uh, efficiency as possible. And we're going to give the distributor a machine, a nano encapsulator machine, and we are going to, to supply empty nano capsule. This nano capsule has to mix it with the agrochemicals, get through our machine, and get the capsule ready to go, ready to use. So if we do this, the distributor are going to upgrade the margins by 15%. The farmers are going to lower the cost by 15%. I'm going to reduce the pollution by 25%. So what we have had to do is, of the different products that are in the market, we have to choose the one that are more fitable to use this technology right now. So we have already have an MVP. We want to do a market and technical analysis, get to the field and try to and test this technology. And we, are, we, develop, we want to develop a new prototype. For that, we, we are looking for $1 million in seed money. And if we increase the quantity of distributors in the next years, we're going to be able to save 183 million uh, tons of pesticides. And already we're in talks with EPF and company in Argentina who has 103 direct distributors. So in Nanotica, we want to be able to farmers reduce the cost, uh, increase the shields, and give food to everybody in the world. <laughs>